Hello and welcome back. Um, if you're coming from season two, this should look very familiar to you. And if you haven't um, uh, seen this content before, go ahead and check out season two of the channel here. My name is Dom. I am the creator behind uh, the Android Factory. And in the last season, we built this sample application that uh, just has a bunch of different Premier League teams in it. If you're not familiar with what that is, it's a famous soccer league in the world. Um, you can favorite teams specifically, you can learn more about them. We introduced a little image loading library, we're sharing the content from whatever they clicked on in the last screen to here. Uh, you can link out to the um, to a specific website that we have set up in our data model here that drives the screen. And yeah, so you can see that. Um, all right, um, and then uh, you know we have some simple animations, and and we kind of discussed different Android components at the activity or fragment level, and obviously these views and stuff like that. So if you missed it, uh, there's definitely a lot of content there. You can start there and get caught up to speed. But we are going to go ahead and translate this project here um, into a Git project and something that has version control. So I'm going to go ahead and I don't believe we actually, I actually even have um, a GitHub account for this, for this profile. So we're going to sign up. So if you don't have an account here, you can go to github.com, uh, click on sign up. And I guess that's my personal information. So we're going to go ahead and just delete that. And we're going to create a GitHub account. You got to come up with a username. So we're going to call this um, the Android Factory. Uh, our email address is going to be what is our email address? Android Factory ninety five. Go ahead and choose your email preferences. I'm going to just turn that off so it doesn't clutter. Uh, verify my account. All right, never done that one before, but um, pretty straightforward. Go ahead and create uh, you know, your username, password, and welcome to GitHub. Yeah, we'll save that, why not? I'm going to go ahead and actually just pin this so that we have it all the time. Um, you can fill this stuff out if you want. I'm just going to move ahead and over here. OK, so once you verify your account, um, you can go over here in this top right corner here and um, see a whole bunch of, you know, like I guess a little settings pane and whatnot. You can click on your profile and it'll bring you here. Um, so you can go ahead and edit your profile and add whatever you want uh, to it, a little picture if you'd like. Um, I'm actually going to turn on night mode, something kind of recent, and I just think it looks beautiful. I'm a big fan of dark mode. So um, let's go ahead and start a repository. So we're going to go ahead and click new here. Repository name, let's just call this EPL because that's the name of our project as well. Uh, I'm going to add this in here, season two. Um, I think it was called our first app. You go ahead and make it public. You can also make these private if you want to you know, work on a personal project and not have everyone see uh, what you're doing. Add readme, that kind of stuff. We'll worry about that later. Uh, and then you're just gonna go ahead and create your repository. So at this point, you can kind of see that you're within your, whatever your channel or whatever your uh, account name is, slash EPL, inside your repositories and then if you were to view your profile, since it's public, you'll actually be able to see, you know, EPL here and then repositories. So there'll be a list of them here. So um, we're going to go ahead and set this stuff up. So because we already have a, uh, well, we already have a project, but we don't have anything set up with Git. So we're going to go ahead and follow these commands. Um, so 
if we flip back over to Android Studio, we can open up our terminal. This is at the root of our project. And we can just follow this. So we're going to go ahead and call git init. Great. OK, so you also see here all of these files are now in red. And if we go ahead and look at basically all this stuff, everything here is in red. And so that's not a problem, but what that actually means all these files, basically, when they're read, they mean that they are unversioned. They're not part of the Git um, repository at the moment or the Git project. So we can actually change that by saying Git add period, and this will add everything in this folder and all of the subfolders. Okay. And now everything has transitioned to green. Green means that it is a new file that the, the version control has detected. However, um, you know, they're not new files to us, they're just new files to Git because Git, you know, this is the first time they're seeing them. Um, and then at this point, we can go ahead and uh, do a little commit, and then, you know, if you want to branch and all that kind of stuff. But we, uh, there's a little shortcut here that you can use that's very nice. It's called Command K. And this will actually. This was the tab I was looking for. This will actually show you all of the different, uh, basically everything that Git has detected that, that is new or, or different from the old version. Um, you see here the VCS is an unversion file. That means that it's in red, uh, but we're not too worried about that right now. But you could see here basically all of our project files at this moment in time are uh, have been added. They're green and whatnot, and we can commit our message. So we're just going to say uh, first commit and then we're actually going to in this case click this little arrow and say commit and push. We'll do a little code analysis, it'll clean some things up, it'll optimize some things if you tell it to, give you a little bit of a summary about what happened, you can choose to review it but basically the highlight is no errors here so we're all good. Uh, we're going to click commit and push we do not have a remote, so we're going to go ahead and define a remote, and we shall take this uh, URL right here and click OK. And then you can kind of see the structure of our project on this little side pane. And then if we click push, um, I'll need to update this stuff. You see it working down here, it's saying pushing, and boom, push master to new branch, origin slash master. So then we go over here and just reload our project, or reload the page. We now have our project stored here uh, remotely. And you can kind of drill in here, this should all look, this should all look familiar to you, you know, app, source, main, they consolidate all the packages that are empty. Um, and then here are all the files. And then if we take a look at our model file here, you can actually see it right here. And this matches up 100% to um, you know, the soccer tile file that exists here, at this moment in time at least. So um, we got a little bit of a setup going here. Hopefully you either created a new account or have an account up and running. And then hopefully you're able to follow the steps here um, to get your project up and running and now in the uh, next episode we'll go ahead and kind of dive into some of the other commands that you're going to be running into on a pretty regular basis. So I'll see you there.